So you just got a terrifying message about your passwords being involved in a breach, in a data leak, that your passwords have been compromised. I'm gonna tell you what this means and what you can do about it. First and foremost, don't panic. It's not as scary as it sounds. Really what it means is the short version is an email and a password that you've used somewhere else on some website. It has shown up on a list of hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of other emails and passwords and your Mac and your phone are just alerting you to this fact. It does not mean that somebody has gained access to your systems or to your computer or anything like that. The way it happens is, let's say you wanna buy something, you go to some website, Acme Co. Uh, when you go to that website, they always ask you to give them your email and create a password. So now on their side, they have an email address and a password that you've given them. Someone hacks their system and they get a list of tens or hundreds of thousands of email and password combinations for all the people who bought something from Acme Co. And now that list of emails and passwords is floating out on the dark web, on the internet, hackers have access to it. If they wanted to, they could try to get into that account at that Acme Co. website. They might try to get into other accounts, but it's unlikely just because there are so many. It's still good to change these passwords and it's good to clean it up, but it does not mean that they've gotten into your stuff. It means they could if they tried. So I'll show you how to start fixing this problem. If you have hundreds of saved passwords, it can be a huge and daunting task to go through and change all of your passwords. But uh, a good place to start is the sensitive accounts. So like email accounts, banking, clouds, iCloud, Dropbox, Google, things like that. Um, I recommend doing it from your Mac because it's just easier to use a computer for this. Go into Safari, go to the Safari menu in the top left and then preferences and then go to passwords and then here type your Mac password. And this is where it's good to have a secure Mac password because this protects and secures all of your saved passwords or you can do your fingerprint to get in here. Now, this is the list of passwords. You wanna look for the ones that have the triangle with the exclamation mark on it. Um, if there is any duplicated information here, you can delete it just by highlighting it and pressing the delete key and say yes to delete password. Um, if you go to one, I, I don't find that this button always works, the change password on website, so I usually just do it manually. So I'll move this passwords window over to the side. Yes, you do need to do this for each website where you wanna change the password, it, it sucks, but you'll get through it. And then you go to the Starbucks website, starbucks.ca. Now it's gonna to look totally different and work differently uh, depending on what website you go to, but that's just how it is. The commonalities, you'll usually see a sign in or log in up in the top right. And then you can accept the recommended password, the one that's currently saved, and then sign in. And then now, usually in the top right under account settings, again, it depends what website you're at, uh, look for something like personal info or settings. I'm gonna go to settings, just hopefully it's here. Uh, and then in here, often you'll see change password or uh, account info, something like that. Um, here it says update email slash username. So I'm gonna click on settings. And then where it says password edit, this is where you can type the current password. And again, it'll, it'll suggest your saved password. And then you can choose a new one. And then once you say save password, it's actually going to prompt you to save that password in your uh, keychain on your Mac. Would you like to update the saved password and say yes to update the saved password? So now I've changed the password at the Starbucks website and my Starbucks password in my keychain has been updated. So now my Starbucks password is changed. I have about a hundred left to go. It sucks. It's a big job. You just go to the website, change the password and say yes to saving the new password. Lather, rinse, repeat. Boom, 
Mac Epiphany. If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. What you can do about it. What you can do about it. What you can do about it. What to do about it. About it. I really can't hear the difference between Canadian and American abouts.